I still remember 40 years ago in 1980 as a small boy, a young boy, one of my neighbors had a Casio Tone 201. I still remember that moment vividly because the Casio Tone 201 had such an impressive look to it. It was made from an all wood chassis. You heard me right, it was made completely of wood. Even though it only had 49 keys and had a paltry 8 notes of polyphony as well as 29 tones at that time as a young boy in the 1980s, that was a really very impressive piece of equipment. And that Casio Tone 201 signaled Casio's initial foray into the musical instruments market. Well, Casio has come a long way since that 1980 Casio Tone 201. But that keyboard, that Casio Tone keyboard held a special place in the hearts of many baby boomers and I'm sure many of them remember that. If you're one of those baby boomers who remember the nostalgic moments of having seen a Casio Tone, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment. So Summer NAM 2019 is all upon us and it is taking place as I'm making this video. And I was expecting that Yamaha, Roland or even Cork would have something up their sleeves and coming out with new keyboards and making announcement but instead all I hear is this. Instead, Casio is the one to come in and save the day. Casio has been on a roll lately in the past year. They came out with the amazing value CTX line of keyboards as well as the Previa PXS digital pianos which is the most compact 88 key weighted digital piano that comes with built-in speakers. And today Casio also announced that they will be releasing the Casio PXS digital pianos in a striking red color as well. But the one that I'm most excited about is the announcement of the Casio Tone series. The iconic Casio Tone has been revived and I think Casio is taking a step in the right direction. So Casio wants to commemorate its 40 years in the musical instrument market by releasing four models of the Casio Tone. We have the CTS100 which is the entry level model and we have the CTS200 which Casio is marketing very strongly and we also have the Casio CTS300 which is the flagship. And on top of that we have the key lighting version of the Casio CTS300 which is the the LKS250. With these four models, Casio is clearly trying to make playing the keyboard very affordable and really easy to gain access to. There's so little friction at prices starting from just under 99 US dollars and going up to a maximum of US 159 dollars. Frankly, even eating out in a fancy restaurant costs more than this. Over the past few decades, the keyboard has added a lot of functions and features as well as sounds and it has grown pretty much in size and weight and it's really not as portable as for example a guitar or a ukulele and Casio aims to try to change that perception of keyboard. They are trying to make it so portable that they are incorporating a handle right into the chassis of the keyboard. And this is where Casio is going right back to basics. They're trying to signal to the market that you can carry this around as easily as a guitar. And do not be mistaken, every one of these four Casio Tone models come with full standard size 61 keys and weighs only a Federlite 3.3 kilos. That makes it really, really easy to carry around. In addition, the middle of the line CTS200 is available in a striking red color as well as a very clean looking white color. All the other models are available in black. So out of the three CTS model, the CTS100, 200 and 300, only the CTS300 and the key lighting version, the LK, S250 has touch sensitive keys but I don't think that is the point of this segment. You know this keyboard just has to be portable, fun to play, easy to use, really it doesn't matter if it's touch sensitive because it is unlikely something where you're gonna use to make very serious music. It is just a tool just to carry around and have fun with. All of these four models can run on alkaline batteries and considering that it comes with very decent amplified speakers with power of up to 5 watts, it is amazing that you can actually get up to 19 hours of playtime that Casio has advertised on these models. 
And the specs on these Casio tones are not shabby either. It comes with up to 400 tones and 77 auto accompaniment rhythm, depending on which model you go for. I was also surprised that there were up to 10 digital reverb effects, as well as a sustained pedal input. Wow, I'm mind blown on an entry level, such an affordable instrument that is fun, portable, hip to play, there is a sustain pedal input. And on the lower entry models where there is no sustain pedal input, there are actually sustain buttons that you can trigger on and off and you don't have to carry your sustain pedal around. And the connectivity options on these keyboards are also very decent. All of these keyboards come with a headphone jack. In addition, the higher end models also come with a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary in jack that you can plug in your mobile devices and play along with your favorite backing track. Or maybe you can just use it as a portable speakers when you're going camping and you're out hiking and out with your friends. And if you're looking to make more serious music, this Casio Tone keyboards also come with a USB MIDI jack and you can connect it to your computer and use it with your FL Studio or your door of your choice. In addition, you can also connect it to the Kodana app available on both the iOS as well as Android devices and you can play along with music games as well as access additional functionality on these Casio Tone keyboards. I like how Casio is listening to the market's feedback. They are actually making the user interface of these Casio Tones so amazingly easy to use with a relatively large size LED screen. You have to understand that for such a low cost and for them to incorporate an LED screen, which gives quite a bit of information is really amazing. In addition, it comes with a job dial for you to very quickly go through the features and functions that you want to select and also to keep the entire fascia of the keyboard much cleaner. So things like job dial and an LED screen are usually normally found only on more expensive keyboard and it's a really pleasant surprise to find it right here. Price from US $99, it is a no-brainer. I personally think that Casio will sell a gazillion of these Casio tones. At this kind of price and for this kind of fun, you can really just use it as a Christmas stocking stuffer and it's really easy to just give it as a present to Johnny during his birthday. So this contrasts greatly with Yamaha's trying very hard to be hip sonogenic guitar, the SHS500, that has a lot of features and functions and lots of tech that nobody is asking for and barely anyone I know is using. I would have been happier if Yamaha had developed their PSS range of Portatone keyboards that were just so fun and hip and portable a couple of decades ago, but Yamaha has just abandoned their market for now, which is really a shame. So I hope you found my thoughts on this Casio tone in this video useful, and I will definitely be getting hold of a couple of these puppies and making a thorough review video on these. So make sure you are subscribed if you haven't done so, and I'll see you in the next one.